Babylon is fallen by Kate of Gaia. One, name. The master key to the entire system's Crown Corporation's game. The name is the linchpin to the entire legal control construct. Without a legal name, which is your consent by agreeing to be said name, the system vampires cannot literally feed on your lifeblood creation source energy that is typically shown in the physical materials we collect. It is only the consent to be, use, or have a legal name, mark of the beast, that is required for your absolute spiritual contract, deal with the devil motif, to be in full force and effect, with you as a slave and them as master. For proof of this, look and see how much of your life or existence involves a legal name, and you will see the measure of control the system has over you. Two, register, registration, etc. Any and all things registered are fully surrendered with consent to the Crown Corporation with no legal recourse until such things are removed by exposing the intent by those who serve the Crown Corporation to commit fraud knowingly or unknowingly. Example, a child that is registered is Crown property by ignorant consent where the truth of registering was not brought forth, which is the original intent by Crown Corporation servants' owners to have people offer their children unknowingly into slavery of soul and thus body. It's the soul they're really after, so keep that in mind. Three, money, gold, silver, assets, bitcoin, etc., are all illusions of value where you are the true creator of all physical manifestations. Money, external value, has been the tool as a third-party interloper, middleman, that has made draining your power possible. Money or the like only has a value if one has been duped into thinking it does. This illusion is the ultimate distraction and destroyer of creator souls, literally. All money is based on the soul contract, commonly known as a birth certificate. Four, birth certificate. The original sin contract. The name you think or claim as yours is not your creation. Your assumed name was created by your parents or family members or adoptive kin, not you. This is an original creation manifested by another that is, in turn, registered, thus rendering it Crown Corporation property, as previously stated. It is upon this deception that your literal soul was and is enslaved, and upon which all money and debt is created. A debt bond value is placed in the birth certificate based on the assumed accruement of taxes, loans, debts, a child is expected to pay as long as they are part of this fraud upon humanity. Example, if someone is expected to pay a certain amount of taxes, etc., in their lifetime, the bond is given a debt value. A child born into a wealthy family will have a higher debt bond value than someone who is of a lesser perceived income bracket rating. This is slave trading at its finest, which divides and conquers humanity in the serf caste hierarchy system, that encompasses the planet. Five, command and control. The courts and governments are the system slaves within, bought and paid for, where the true command and control aspects are the police and military as the frontline dogs and fear contractors for those above the courts and governments, such as the banks and religions, and those that control them. The courts and governments are merely the filler for this sandwich of deception and illusion. Without the ability to contract via any and all names at the frontline level, the whole system of control is destroyed. Most importantly, those at the very top of this spiritual slavery pyramid. Without the name, all levels above are ultimately annihilated completely. Six, the Triple Crown. This consists of Rome, 
City of London, Crown Corporation, and Washington, D.C. They are the unholy trinity of the three-in-one, one-in-three, as illustrated clearly in the papal crown. Religion to control the beliefs, minds, and spirituality of humanity. The courts and banks to control the money and bonds and the world police, military, to quash rebellion and act as frontline contractors of soul extractions. 7. Principalities of Darkness This is the true nature of the game that the vastness of humanity is blind to. Religions have been used to separate you from source by making one believe God is external and use the Savior program to reinforce this. Money is the tool that is used to keep people in the physical-only realm by getting them to equate an external value on everything where nothing would exist without the people and their creativity. Physical death and harm is the tool used to clamp down on your true essence, which is all creation itself. The tools employed are languages with the corruption of pure frequency intent with multiple meanings of the same sounds and frequencies using words and spellings, literally, thus dividing and conquering us and redirecting our energy into their creations and control. These entities cannot create anything since they are soulless and thus utterly powerless. They know this and are absolutely terrified because this spells their doom once and for all. We are life with consciousness where these entities are consciousness without life, soul, or spirit. They are completely and solely dependent upon getting our consent or spiritual contract agreement. And this is easily achieved through the name deception, buying people off, ego comforts, etc. Their whole house of cards and pyramid is based on this fact. We are the fuel for their system and vehicle. Without spiritual fuel, they're destroyed. The biggest program that we run into with the masses <clears throat> excuse me, is the sheer disbelief of their own power and who they truly are. A masterful job has been done to get humanity to this level of spiritual weakness and complete ignorance. This was the intent of corrupting the ancient truth, rewriting our past and presenting this in schools, churches, and all levels of ego academia. Repeat a lie often enough, and people will believe it. It is far easier selling a giant lie to the masses than selling us one by one. The media is the main tool of thought direction and manipulation to reinforce the lies we were filled with as children and up to our current state. We have many soulless entities on this planet, with the vast majority being placed in positions of power and control, be it police, courts, media, churches, governments, schools, military, at all levels. Fear is their only tool, and once one sees their true immortal nature, one becomes untouchable, literally. The mass hypnosis of humanity is deep, and you will meet all levels of resistance from friends, family, co-workers, etc., so don't bother trying to wake the consenting to be dead. The facts to prove this are all there for all to see, so it is up to, up to them to look, not you. Simply plant the seed and walk away. They are the same as the ones in the allegory of Noah that came to the ark too late. Let them drown. We are now at the culmination of destroying these entities once and for all, and they are pulling out all the fear porn, illusion, and desperation plugs, and in that process, they're sinking their own ship, where I merely hand them a better plug puller now. You, and only you, can save yourself, and no one else, so stop killing yourself trying. Let the dead bury the dead, and perhaps they'll get it on the next pass, but they are not your concern. Stay the course. The path home is the one of truth only, and nothing else. Your willingness to stand in truth is yours alone, and to the degree that you stand, will be the same degree that you become untouchable spiritually and, as a result, physically. As above, so below after all. There is no middle ground here. You're either in or out of Babylon. You are either master or slave, mortal or immortal. The soul, you, are infinite where the body is merely a biological computer you operate. 
Your computer was infiltrated and corrupted. Reptilian brainstem fused chromosomes and separated from the heart source mind. The soulless ones cannot experience compassion, so don't expect them to. They are the same as the Terminator droids in the movies, programmed to control and kill without remorse and are easy to spot. They are everywhere, including your own family, friends, etc., and all you have to do is feel your way through. Let your instincts and your heart be your guide. We are clearing this reality of these parasites exponentially now, where universal law reigns supreme, where none shall or can trespass. They are masters of deception, so do not let your loving compassion be used against you, something that has been their most, <coughs> excuse me, something that has been their most powerful tool. The Bioborg entities are already lifeless and are dependent only on being able to suck the life out of you. But, like every vampire, they cannot enter your reality without an invitation. Every use of the legal name is the only invitation they need. So best cut your ties and consent with that. Just get this concept, and you have already cut the puppet strings, and your causal ability returns instantly in relation to your ability to be responsible with that ultimate of powers. To the walking dead, and you know what you are, your time is over. Your deceptions are powerless, and now moment by now moment, you are being erased from consciousness for the invading parasites you are. We of the living soul are awake, aware, and reclaiming our reality, where yours never existed. In short, yes, you are doomed. Have a nice day. Kate. <laughs> 